Hi guys, welcome to another Block Spotlight and today we're going to be looking at another thermal expansion machine this time it's going to be the pulverizer. Now much like the, the last one the powered furnace that we looked at we have an energy storage bar on the left hand side uh, you have an input here which is blue and a primary output here which is yellow but with this one we also have a secondary output and that's red and that's because sometimes uh, the pulverizer can produce um, an additional output very rarely um, and the chance varies depending on what it is you're actually pulverizing so the top tab on the right hand side here has got the energy uh, it will use up to seven uh, minecraft joules a tick and it will store probably the same amount that it needs to pulverize a whole stack of something uh, that would fit with the powered furnace if that's actually the case I'm not entirely sure but I'm going to assume that that's the case uh, redstone signal control is as the powered furnace so you can enable or disable depending on if the signal is on or off very handy little uh, mechanic there and I wish we could have options like that on on some other machines as well uh, the configuration here uh, it's pretty much self-explanatory if you saw my powered furnace one uh, what we have this is the left hand side and blue corresponds to input so you have input on the side and on the back by default and you have secondary output on the top and primary output on the right hand side that's as it is by default you can of course change these around so if you want to move where each output goes you can do and um, I can show that change the top one to a primary output so now we've got primary output on the top or on the side um, we could change it to the input now we've got input on the top and the side and the output there and underneath so it's it's quite configurable in that respect um, again another useful thing that I wish more mods would do just allow you to configure where stuff goes in and out it would uh, also take the mystery out of trying to remember where each machine has its inputs and outputs forestry I think would do well to take note of, of this whole little uh, GUI widget that they're using here it could uh, work wonders with forestry um, the recipe for the pulverizer we have a piston on the top um, the machine chassis which as I said last time is the basis for most of the thermal expansion machines uh, we have flint on either side and a redstone power coil on the bottom and if you remember the redstone power coil is gold in the middle with four redstone in a cross shape on top of it now in practice what we have here I've had this running for a little while so hopefully we've got a full um, full energy bar uh, this will pulverize several different things and we have a chest on top and on the side at the moment it's just pulverized a stack of iron so we have two rare earth loads out of that stack of iron ore and 64 pulverized iron now these can be used for various things and I will uh, I'm sure we will get to those uh, on another occasion but to start with let's just show what if we put pure stone in, smooth stone, you're going to get cobble out. If you put cobble in, you'll get sand out. And we've got a secondary there as well, which is gravel. So we've got a sand and a gravel out of that cobble. Is that every time or is that just a chance? No, didn't get any gravel that time. We can put wood in, and if we put wood in, we'll get wood pulp out put sandstone in we will get sand and something else nitre and again that's only a chance you won't get that every time 
and we may well be missing out on some uh, secondary uh, products as we go through here because I'm not doing an, an awful lot so if we put gravel in we're going to get flint can we get a secondary resource out of gravel no just a flint nether rack get cobble I'm sure there's a secondary product that we can get out of nether rack so nether rack will turn into cobble I'm not sure why you would want to do that I think the main reason would be to get the secondary resource, which I'm sure is sulphur. If it's ever going to happen. Although you could, I guess, there we go, sulphur. So sulphur is a secondary resource there. Glass we can put in as well. We can pulverise glass. We do that, we're going to get sand, which is quite handy. I think there is a secondary resource here as well that we can occasionally get, so let's just see if we can find some of that. And this is a, a way, I guess, to complete the cycle of uh, melting sand into glass. You can also reverse the process with the pulverizer. I don't, I'm going to leave that. I don't think we're going to get anything out of that. That will turn gold into a pulverised gold ore. And these, I think, can be smelted um, to, to make your, your ingots. Much like the uh, dust wheel from industrial crafts. So they see you put one bone in, you're going to get six, six bone meal out. Bear in mind, you are using uh, energy while you do this process with the blaze rod you put a blaze rod in and you're going to get four blaze powder and a sulfur out of that I think the sulfur is probably a a rare secondary resource yeah not so rare in that case put sugar cane in you're going to get two sugar so more than if you just craft it yourself you get double the sugar output Let's see how it deals with tin. Tin is going to give us pulverized tin. I think that was. Pulverized tin ore. As you'd expect, I guess. But bear in mind, these are ores from other mods. So, pulverized copper as well. Now, if we put a rare earth load in, which is uh, an output we got from doing iron ore. Put a rare earth in there we will get pulverised rare earth and that again can be used to craft something else Let's see what that, that could be used for um, all of these things that you can use pulverised rare earth with gold ore to make conductive alloy blends and these alloy blends are used for various different things I'm sure I will uh, get to those in time. Don't really want to spoil too much for myself, but if uh, you do want to let people know what these things are used for, then there you go. There's a way of making gunpowder with some of these secondary outputs. So, really handy machine. Uh, kind of gives you some of the options that you have in industrial craft without having to use industrial craft. So, there you have it. Um, Please let me know what I've missed out because I'm sure I've missed out stuff. Um, and let me know what other kind of blocks you'd like me to look at. I've kind of got it in my head that I'm going to do like a, a little mini series of spotlights on the thermal expansion stuff. So that's what I'm going to be heading for next. Uh, this week is pretty much going to be thermal expansion week. So if you've not used it before, um, they are probably be good videos to catch and if you have used it before there will be good videos for you to catch me out so be sure to uh, to make sure you catch all the videos this week now don't forget you can follow me on Twitch and on Twitter to, so you can find out exactly when I'm going live and when I'm posting videos things like that um, and just catch me anytime really thanks for watching